Hey, what's up? This is Crypto Trader coming at you from Mining Trades. What will what all of the top ten cryptocurrencies do? 2018. Okay, I'm gonna do a little voice narration for you guys, and we're we're gonna get into this right now. Okay, so hope you enjoy. Today, there are close to 1,500 active cryptocurrencies, and that number continues to grow each day. Ultimately, it is best to understand as many of them as possible. Of course, a good place from which to start researching is the very top. Here is a brief overview of what each of the top 10 cryptocurrencies has to offer. Bitcoin, BTC, created as a response to the global financial crisis in 2008. Bitcoin is the grandfather of cryptocurrency. Bitcoin was created as a method of transferring wealth and power from financial institutions and governments to individuals. Bitcoin seeks to provide this autonomy with a decentralized money supply operating outside of the jurisdiction of a governing body. Active developments such as Lightning Network seek to bring Bitcoin closer to achieving its original goal. What you see is the weekly chart back there from TradingView. It's Coinbase and Bitcoin definitely is looking at a pullback right now. Now we don't really know, but we believe we're going back to the rise. Now, next one is Ripple right here. Let me put that narration for you. Ripple, XRP. If this were a novel, Ripple would be the foil to Bitcoin. Ripple seeks to provide cheap, efficient, and precise transaction solutions to banks and financial providers using the RippleNet technology. Unlike the vast majority of cryptocurrencies, Ripple is centralized, minted and distributed through the Ripple company. Ripple boasts over 100 partners on its network, including American Express and Visa. The foil to Bitcoin. <laughs> it is a centralized cryptocurrency. Okay, it is centralized. And this is the Ripple weekly chart. That thing is going up. It's three dollars, and it's already half. The market has already has half the market cap of Bitcoin. Here's Ethereum. Ethereum (ETH). Ethereum introduces smart contracts and decentralized applications (DApps) on top of its blockchain network. Ethereum provides a powerful environment for developers to build upon the blockchain. The most widespread use of Ethereum's technology is token creation, where developers can create transferable tokens. Hundreds of projects operate as Ethereum tokens, are distributed through ECOs administered by the ETH network through smart contracts, and are later traded and transacted on the Ethereum blockchain. ICOs, baby. I've been doing a couple of videos about some ICOs I've been getting into. That's how you get an altcoin before it hits the exchange. You get the ICO. Then the altcoin hits the exchange, and boo yeah, you pick the right ones. You know what you're doing. Those things turn to hundred dollar coins. You get in like at sub one cent, sub cents. You know like you can get it, get in. Uh, a real good ICO is not gonna let you in that that cheap. All right, you're gonna get in like seventy cent. I would say sometimes fifty cent if you're good. And this is the Ethereum chart weekly. First time it's bypassed a thousand, okay, and it's uh, rising. Next one up, Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash, BCH. Bitcoin Cash is a Bitcoin fork that advertises itself as the true vision of Bitcoin. On August 1st, 2017. <laughs> Everyone who Bitch held cash. Bitcoin Look received at that an red of chart. Bitcoin oh my cash. god. It is Garbage. mainly supported by angel investor Bit Roger Bitcoin. Bitmain executive Jihan Wu and crypto eccentric Craig Wright. BCH pledges to solve Bitcoin scaling issues with a two megabytes block size. Double that of Bitcoin. B trash. B cash. Roger Ver. Once known as Bitcoin Jesus fell from Bitcoin heaven into now they're calling them Bitcoin Lucifer. That's a little harsh. He's a good man, but I think that you know he kind of 
just letting this money, this this blockchain, like mess with mess with his good heart. Come on, Roger, for get it together, baby. Get it together, baby. Back Bitcoin. If he would spend all his resources to back in Bitcoin, man, we would be we would be so much better as a as a the crypto space would be so much better. Am I right? If I'm right, press like, <laughs> pound that like, smash that like. If I'm right. And um, yeah, Bitcoin Cash. The next one we got up here is Cardano. I like Cardano, me personally. And I can't wait till I stop looking at this bit B trash chart. But it's so red and negative. I actually like looking at it. Look how it looks. It's like I tried to get above Bitcoin, but I could not succeed because they made me out of some sort of greed. Cardano, ADA. Cardano is branded as a third generation cryptocurrency, seeking to create an environment that is inviting for developers and doesn't require expert blockchain knowledge. ADA boasts an impressive team comprised of a number of computer science scholars, as well as Ethereum co founder Charles Hoskinson. Cardano was built in conjunction with the Ethereum fork, Ethereum Classic. Cardano. How did the computer read it off? Cardano. <laughs> Cardano. 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 Um, that's all I really got to say about Cardano. Um, Litecoin Weekly looks pretty good. Litecoin, LTC, since its inception, Litecoin has acted as the silver to Bitcoin's gold. It is one of the oldest altcoins, and has served primarily as a testnet for Bitcoin, where many features such as SegWit have been integrated and experimented with before getting implemented on the Bitcoin network. During periods of Bitcoin struggle and congestion, Litecoin has gained support as a potentially superior alternative to Bitcoin. Litecoin has gained support as potentially superior alternative to Bitcoin. I'll, I'll tell you some inside knowledge on that. Litecoin is, as far as Charlie Lee is concerned, not as secure because it's it's too fast. It's not as secure. And here goes uh, IOTA. IOTA IOTA is unique in that, unlike virtually all other cryptocurrencies, IOTA does not operate on a blockchain. Rather. Its ledger operates through a network called Tangle. The goal of IOTA is to act as the communicator between various entities in an Internet of Things (IoT) environment. In the future, the idea is that IOTA will be the method by which smart devices interact with one another. Currently, IOTA's major draw is its zero-fee transactions. IOTA, they're having a serious debate about IOTA because they're, they're it has training wheels. It's it's. It's tangled, is sent has a bunch of central nodes, and it's not decentralized. They were like, "Yes, yeah, just the training wheels. We're gonna let it off, off the train wheel as soon as more people get wallets." And I'm like, "Okay, no one else seems to have this problem." But Tangle is something different. It's not a blockchain. It's something different called Tangle, uh, and that's IOTA. IOTA is a coin. If you can trade it, hell, it must be a part of something. Here's NEM or XEM. NEM, XEM, NEM's major defining characteristic is its proof of importance, POI, approach to network propagation. POI is a proof of stake, POS, hybrid that, rather than give incentives for holding, like traditional POS, rewards nodes for spending NEM. NEM also offers mosaics, which are similar to Ethereum's token system but are much more user-friendly. NEM also provides a private ledger feature for internal transactions, which financial institutions in Japan are currently testing. So mosaics are like ERC-20 protocols. POI is in POI. It's POI that is, is the computer. It was proof of importance protocol. I believe N NEM is, is really has a lot of contribution. It, that thing is, has a lot of notoriety. A lot of people are sleeping on it, but 
like Bitcoin has a lot of notoriety, NEM or ZEM, XEM, which is the, the ticker to pull it up, XEM is a notoriety. Okay. It's remarkable what this what that stuff is because it's actually paying wallet holders. Like if you go to wallet, you know, normally you gotta mine it. But this one actually the nodes are kept up by the wallets themselves and they're paying people who hold the wallets themselves. Yeah. Break you know, it's it's revolutionary if you ask me. But I've been meaning to get myself a wallet. Even though I know this, I still haven't gotten worked around to go get myself a wallet to buy and give me some EMs. I think you have to have a little of them, but it's not like it's not like staking, but it it might be staking. Here goes Stellar Lumens. Okay, uh, let's pull this thing up. Stellar Lumens XLM Stellar serves as the decentralized alternative to Ripple, while both offer similar features. XLM seeks to service individuals with fast and cheap remittances and micropayments. Much of the appeal of XLM comes from its current partnerships with major businesses, primarily IBM. IBM is currently working to build a cross-border payments system that runs on XLM. Another major partnership involves Deloitte, one of the big four accounting firms in the U.S. It's actually decentralized version of ripple now you're going to hear that from my channel you're not going to hear that I, i'm surprised some of the major bitcoin channels that people listen to haven't said it's decentralized unlike ripple ripple is fucking centralized and it's going to stay centralized that's why i like stellar last but not least okay should be right underneath ethereum and litecoin to me but what do I know? Dash. Dash Dash is digital cash. The coin seeks to establish itself as the number one option for merchants and consumers. Dash features instant transaction confirmations and some privacy features to mask users' wallet balances and transactions. Dash boasts one of the largest networks with almost 5,000 nodes, as well as dozens of merchants worldwide that accept the coin. The projects and developments of the team are proposed and voted on by holders of the coin. 